Hi, I'm Nick Gombievsky, and in today's demonstration, we're going to be doing text in watercolor in the context of storefronts and signage on food trucks. Okay, so I'll be using Tacos Morelos, a uh, food truck, uh, as my example for this. And we see we have like knockout text on black, so we'll be leaving uh, white of the paper. Uh, and then for the letters, and then for Tacos Morelos, we're gonna like paint the sort of green and red first. Uh, without being too specific about where it lands in the letter because we're going to come in on top with uh, black paint around it. And then we'll just find some like positive letters, like kind of like right here where it says like best. Uh, and then that will just be literally like painting the letter. So very straightforward. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's start painting. So I'm just going to like, so this first approach, I'll just try get the paper wet over Tacos Morelos first. And so that it'll make the color kind of like distribute better in there. And actually I probably should have left like a little bit of dry space in between tacos and morelos. Uh, so the kind of two colors I'll put in here won't bleed. Okay, so there we go, tacos morelos. And then, so the signage for tacos is a green color. So I'll just kind of go for this Yeah, I want it to be pretty bright. So here we go. Oh my God, that is way crazy bright. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna add a little blue to that. Okay. Okay, so that was some ultramarine blue in the primary in oh, the permanent green. So tacos over here, that's gonna be green. So, oh, gross, it's too wet. Okay, I forgot, this paper isn't the best. Okay, let's just do, do that over. So, a little bit green here. Okay, cool, rinse that out. So here I'm just painting right over it, um, like right over the letters, because I'm gonna do the black Yeah. We don't have to be too specific about it right now. Uh, Why well, paint the same thing twice? And then a really nice kind of like bright red color. So this is Crimson Lake, or excuse me, Rose Matter. Okay, I'm just gonna let it be. Okay, so while that dries, I'm gonna start painting around the Tacos Morelos. So, so this is like a black background with like white knockout letters. So there's gonna be, let's see what we can do kind of quickly here. Uh, I'm just using this like wider brush, but here we go. So the first one I kind of got the paper wet first, but now I'm just gonna kind of go with like a wet brush on the dry paper. So we have a little bit more like control and can kind of get the color more intense. So, wow, this is way too, this brush is way too big. So there's not much detail there. Uh, so here we go, just painting this. There's really no, I should probably just do a voiceover afterwards, yeah, when I like clean it up. So that, that wasn't that, you know, life changing. Okay. Okay, so there we go, we got some black in. And now I'm just gonna grab a round brush Wow, my round brushes are so messed up. Anyway, here's a, f so I'm just grabbing it. This is a round, uh, number four. And so I'm just gonna get this like straight up black color. And I'm just kind of mixing it in with a little water here uh, in my palette, right? And so this will give us like a finer sort of approach here. See, it's like so much darker to begin with. Uh, when it's not like that big, huge, wide brush. Okay, so first I'm just sort of like, not necessarily blocking it in. So my idea for approaching this, so here's like the bottom of the like wind out awning. There's just like a light sketch underneath. 
Oh, I kind of like that where that doesn't sync up. Uh, and then let's just kind of like come across like on the top here. Okay, so we're kind of like a little bit blocked in right here now. Uh, and I don't like how, how faded that is. So I'm gonna kind of come back in here. Okay, a little more water. It seems like it's not moving around enough. Okay, so notice that I am not painting in the, uh, I'm not just outlining the letters and my approach will be to kind of come right in I'm still using this number four brush and then I might have to uh, move to like something finer, like a number one or something. So the way, way brushes work is they go like, you know, like the smaller the number, the finer and, and smaller the brush. Like here's number four, uh, here is, you know, well, actually you don't know this, so I'm talking about it. Number four, and then here's number eight. See how it's much larger? And then these uh, brushes are pretty messed up. They should be coming to like more of a point, but you know, I paint a lot. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna move this forward. I'm just gonna do one crazy continuous take. Let's uh, zoom in. Boom, zoomed. Let's move this over. Oh yeah, detail, nice. Okay, so coming in here, I'm not going to outline the letters, uh, but I'm going to try to paint the like negative spaces. So like over here in tacos, T for the taco, you know, and then like for the A here. Actually, I'm just going to grab my reference real quick. Take a look at what this looks like. Okay, so kind of coming in. I feel I'm gonna move up over to like a smaller brush. I feel like I don't have enough control with this wide one, but I'm gonna just see if there's any like, so this area here between the A and the C, I'm just gonna kind of come right in and fill that in, maybe the center here with the O. Okay, I'm gonna switch up to a smaller brush. Just rinsing that out. Okay. Okay, so here is the number one round brush. And then when the tip gets wet, can, let's see here, let's do that again. Can I even see this? Okay, so when the tip gets wet, I mean, you should it. I don't recommend actually taking your fingers on it, but you can see when it's wet, uh, it, it gets, maybe my hand there will help it get in focus. It kind of, kind of brings more to a point. Crazy. And there's just an earthquake in New York City. Weird. Okay, does it really take me this long to paint? How long is this video? Seven minutes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so kind of coming in. So this, these letters are like kind of big. You can see, I'm, you know, coming in with this very detailed brush. And so like, instead of thinking of outlining the letter C, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of kind of painting in that negative space, like everything that is not the letter C. Uh, I find that if you outline it, outline the letters that is, that it tends to uh, kind of like go into the the white space that you want inside, uh, and so so yeah. So this is like kind of like painting the negative space approach.
tacos. You know, that making paintings of food carts always makes me very hungry. I also lead food cart tours with turnstile tours in, uh, in Midtown and also in the financial district. And it was kind of started starting that up was an offshoot of making these street vendor paintings. Okay. I really feel like I should post this without editing it and just have it be this super long text I mean, text. Uh, there will be text with it, but just a super long video. I really think I put the wrong red in my palette earlier. Okay. Oh, that looks a little sloppy. I'll just kind of come in. Okay, there we go. I love the like in New York City signage, uh, especially when it's like an independently owned business. Sometimes the amazing signage and letter choices, fonts that you know the the proprietors, the owners choose to have on, it adds so much character to the city. Okay, so there we go. Tacos Morelos. Uh, and then the stuff on top is still drying. Oh, I think this... Yeah, the green looks dry enough to me. The red is really crazy. Okay. So there's that. Oh yeah, there's also this signage on the side of the building. I mean, on the side of this truck. Where it's really just like... Best tacos. And so, if, you know, if there's signage that's just black text on white, that's cool. Uh, then you just paint the letters directly. And one more thing, like, so Tacos Morelos here. So this is like white text on a black background. Uh, but if you, if you wanted to, you could just leave it, have it be like a white background and paint black text on top because that's kind of like your option as an artist to do that as another way of doing it. So over here we have something that says like best tacos, tacos mo. Okay. And so just trying to get it in like one stroke without going over, you know, without going over again. And then tacos is in a different color and a different text. So I'll do that in a moment. And so leave a little space for that. Oh yeah, then if doing text, sometimes I like to do the text first and then do the sort of border around it uh, so you don't run out of space and have like the T off the edge of the, the speech bubble in this case, right? Oh, this is kind of cool. I like their design, kind of comes through. And then the shadow kind of like points, kind of like has a little bit of a gap. Okay, and then just some like, you know, the window of it. Okay, at the top of the counter, then like, so that's the frame and here's a spot that folds out. So people have like a little bit of a tray. Anyway, 
Uh, so here's, yeah, so there's Tacos Morelos, and then kind of like coming back in here. And so this text is slightly 3D. Uh, with, and it also has this kind of a crazy and cool bright blue border. So, but right, first I'm gonna get like a, so those letters are pretty big. We also have black. I'm gonna like put a little, like straight up black is a little boring. Uh, I'm gonna put a little blue in. Okay, wider mode, let's move this around. Okay, so there's some black. I'm just putting in some of this ultramarine blue. Just so the black isn't so, you give it some more vibrancy. And also like give it like some, some interest when it starts drying. Okay, so over here, tacos. Right, and then we're also overpainting this green. So there'll be a, a little bit of that shining, shining through, which is kind of cool because this is like a lit up sign. And so that way though, it'll almost be like it's reflecting on the material beneath it. Okay, I'm leaving a little bit of space to paint like the 3D nature of these block letters. Yeah, that red isn't dry yet. Okay. I feel like I should have spent a little more time on these letters and uh, have this be my final painting because I'm just going to make a painting of this Tacos Morelos truck. And I thought, okay, I'm just going to demo how to do the text, but this has kind of taken a while. Okay. Yeah, and I pre-mixed some of this color. Oh, it's looking a little harsh. Okay. Try to get some more flow going on. Oh, that's sort of pretty. That means I need to let that red dry more. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, I'm just gonna make this part be like a more bluish kind of color, more like a gray. For the border. Okay. Let's go. I'll just go. I'll just roll with it. Yeah, so that red needs more time to dry, I think. And then, so there's these great kind of like blue, like neon, like borders for the letters. And this is gonna come in with like a cobalt blue here. Blue, okay. But you can see how you can paint the green first so you don't have to like be very specific with the letters and all of that stuff. So there's like a bit of a border here.
Okay, and coming in with some like lines on the black. Kind of coming back in to sort of like add in the 3D sort of nature of these letters that kind of are cool the way that they're built and affixed to the side of the truck on the signage. It's very nice. Okay. And then I will paint the Morelis part later. I think that's like, I'll do one of these letters. Well, sort of like that, a little firmer, like that. I don't like how that turned out right there. I don't know how to fix this. So I'll just put some water on and sort of dab it and I might break everything. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Okay, so you can sort of dab it if something doesn't turn out well, but then it kind of gets muddy and a little crazy looking. Okay, but that's enough of this demo. You can see you can see where this is going. Okay, thanks. Oh yeah, best tacos. I wanna get that little sign. And so I'm gonna use the vermilion hue. Okay, and I just added new paint into this kit. So it's sort of wet to begin with. Okay, so not too much water. Now let's just do like best. And it's a nice little script. Okay. There we go.